Hey there. Over the years, I've worn lots of hats in the real estate industry. In this short video, I'm gonna share what they were, what I've done, and most importantly, how that can benefit you. I bought my first house while I was still in college. So yes, I've been a first time home buyer and I know what that feels like. And I've developed systems to take the anxiety out of the process so that it's a more enjoyable experience for first time home buyers. Six months after my first house, I bought my first duplex and I fixed it up. What a learning curve that was. Hey, I was putting in the gas line and uh, all of a sudden we had flames. <laughs> my buddy grabs this bucket of really nasty water we'd use to clean up the floor and he throws it on the flames. He got me, oh my God. But hey, you know now years later, I put all the gas lines in my house and my pole barn and uh, they passed on the first inspections. I learned something new every single day. That led to me being a contractor. You know, we had those pickup trucks that the signs that say, no job too big or too small. Well, our largest job was rehabbing a 42 unit apartment project. We didn't take it to the studs, but it was pretty darn close. Hey, and the most interesting job I ever did was probably we lifted a house up off its foundation, literally, and then we tore out all the uh, basement walls, hauled them away, and then we re built all of those basement walls and set the house back down on the foundation. That's pretty cool. So hey, I can walk through a house with you and I can point out opportunities and I can answer questions. Sometimes uh, even on new construction, there's a situation where maybe the builder doesn't do that type of thing, like maybe a finish a basement or whatever the case might be. Well, hey, I can help you out with that. And uh, I know a guy. From there, I became a property manager. I managed something like 500 tenants. So, hey, maybe you're wanting to uh, build this new house for a long-term rental. I can help you. We are affiliated with uh, Key Renter Indianapolis North, does, uh, offers property management services throughout the Indianapolis area, and I'd be glad to hook you up with Michael Simmons, who'll take good care of you. From there, I became a builder myself. I built single family homes, apartments, condos. You know, I started on projects like all these that I do these videos on, pounding nails and running crews. So I have experience that others do not, which means to you that I can anticipate problems and I can solve problems, maybe even ones that others are totally clueless about. So most importantly, when I work with you on a new construction project, I am the only person in the transaction who by law must act in your best interest. In fact, I have a fiduciary responsibility to do so. The typical purchase agreement on an existing house is eight pages. On a construction contract, it might be 40 or 50 pages long, or maybe even twice that. So there's nobody that will guide you through that except for me. Think about it. You don't know what you don't know. I can be a difference maker. I will be your advocate. Hey, some problems are not so big, but you just never know. Home building is a people business. Stuff is gonna happen. No matter how good the builder is, stuff is gonna happen. It just is. Hey, it could be something small like construction manager not making a meeting or something on the plans not getting done or the builder not making progress. Maybe the builder forces you onto another lot. That's not good. Hey, I've seen builders build over setback lines. In fact, once in Colorado, I had a deal where the builder built over the property line. Not fun to solve, but we got it done. A lot of times on new construction transactions, I feel like a marriage counselor, okay? There's a lot of pieces to keep together and they're all moving at the same time. So you're sitting around on a Sunday and you, and you say, hey, let's go look, uh, let's go walk through some model homes. So before you do, uh, give me a quick call or text. I'll get you registered. This holds true even on weekends. It's the only way I can employ my decades of experience for your for personal benefit. My fee is paid by the builder and there's no discount if you don't use a realtor, but there's a lot of benefits to doing so. Too many people have had bad experience with builders. I can put my experience to work for you facilitating successful outcomes with new construction homes. You know, from being a builder, it was kind of natural to become a developer. I oversaw engineering, state highway cuts, putting streets in, sewer and water lines, building in all kinds of weather and on all kinds of building sites. I can remember one time we were down in Brown County and we were putting siding up on like a three-story condo project and the wind's blowing about 40 miles an hour and it was cold. That was not fun, but hey, we got it done. 
as part of those projects, I did planning and zoning work, and I continue to do that for my clients today. That can come in real handy if you're, if you're wanting to uh, subdivide a piece of ground, or maybe you want to build a home on your own land. Back in the day, I did some home inspector work, which means to you, I can drill down on those reports, and I can create outcomes for you that are just a whole lot better under the circumstances. Hey, and you might be surprised to know that you can actually have a home inspection done on a new construction home. And you would be surprised, but they have about the same number of defects as an existing home does. For a few years there, I was an appraiser. I did conventional FHA and VA assignments. Again, I know the drill. I know how to read a report, what can be done about it, which means you have a greater likelihood that the deal will close. For 17 years, I was a mortgage lender. In fact, I grew the second largest mortgage brokerage in the state. I know the ropes and can at times make you aware of opportunities that will literally help make your dreams possible. It pays to know what cards you hold. And hey, you don't know what you don't know. One of my specialties as a lender was construction lending, including rehab financing and new construction. I can help turn a house with good bones into the house you want before you even move into it or to build your dream home on your own land. Then I was a commercial real estate and due diligence inspector across the United States and Canada for the big Wall Street banks and investment firms. I worked from Calgary to Charleston and from Toronto to Biloxi. I did about 500 properties a year, including multifamily, factories, distribution centers, grocery stores, restaurants, hospitals, doctor's offices, retirement homes, and high-rise office buildings. I got those assignments because I could walk into any market anywhere on the continent and I could size up what the situation was and figure out how to add value for these investors. If they trusted me to do that, maybe you might want to too. Throughout most of my career, I've been a licensed realtor, both here in Indiana and in Colorado. I've worn lots of hats. In fact, it's hard to find a realtor who has a greater depth of experience than I do. All in all, I've played a role in something like 5,000 successful transactions, which means to you there's a higher likelihood that you will achieve success. So before you sign up with your brother-in-law's third cousin because she's family, Consider if you really want to place the largest financial transaction of your life in the hands of, well, your brother-in-law's third cousin who just got their license. There are good reasons why over half of my customers are repeat customers. And another 25% are referrals from those people. My clients tell me I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now.